in terms of what you've seen so far from the teams in the Premier League, who are your favourites? It's always tough, isn't it, uh, to make <laughs> predictions like this. But, um, you know, I like, obviously, two shells, Chelsea. I like uh, Liverpool when Van Dijk is back. You know, they look again solid. Uh, they're not conceding many goals and they're looking like uh, the Liverpool from two seasons ago. Uh, obviously, then you have Man United with Cristiano, that anything can happen with him, you know, that he can take them to the title. Um, and obviously Man City, you know, Pep. Uh, you, we all saw that game in the weekend, Man City, Liverpool, how good they are as well. So it's going to be lovely to see until the end. It's great for, for, for everybody. Mm-hmm. I was saying, Josie, I think this this year's title race will be very difficult to, 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 to say what's going to happen. But I think one thing we're guaranteed, I think we're in guaranteed a really exciting title race. But I said to, to Darren and Woodsy, where I've been really impressed with Manchester City is their performances against the top teams, against Chelsea, where I thought they dominated. I thought they were brilliant at Chelsea. I thought they were excellent for long periods of the game against Liverpool. Even against PSG, I thought they played yeah, very well. Very good. And I think they've been really impressive without an out-and-out number nine goal scorer. Imagine if they had uh, <laughs> Kane, eh? Um, listen, unbelievable. The the I was watching carefully the game between City and Chelsea the other day. And... Um, it was just incredible to see the quality, you know, yeah. the, the for, for the whole uh, game, it was very, very impressive to see, um, in my opinion, Bernardo Silva's performance it was just incredible. Superb, you know, wasn't I know it? Superb. I'm biased, but uh, mm. I, I really loved his uh, commitment and energy. Mm. And obviously, we all know the quality that he has on the ball, but his commitment and his out of the possession um com- you know influence was unbelievable to see you know and uh he's in great form he played again really well against liverpool and um i'm really impressed i'm i've always been impressed with pep guardiola's teams and the way they play and how organized they are and how the players run for 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 him Jojo, i want to ask you briefly about bernardo silva i was saying to the guys mm. something that sticks in my mind i saw him at turf moor i saw him play at burnley right Weather was terrible, right? <laughs> Conditions were really... And his work rate and his attitude... Because I saw it, they, they needed a goal the last 20 minutes. And we all know about his talent, how talented a footballer yeah. is. But I could not believe it. His commitment was amazing. He's... You know... I texted him the other day after the Chelsea game. I said, listen... Um, if you put this type of... Uh, commitment to your game. We all know that obviously he's one yeah. of the best handlers of the ball, and his decision making is great. He always makes the, the the best decision for 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 what the game needs at at the time. But if he shows this intensity and commitment uh, without the ball, he can be at the top <laughs> competing with the very best, no doubt, because he's just incredible. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.